The following short presentation will demonstrate how the Clinical Evidence Service uses REST-based internet queries to transfer patient data from our Decision Support Tool interface and to ask meaningful diagnostic questions of our evidence ontology. We will demonstrate some simple diagnostic queries using a patient presenting with abdominal pain and a diagnosis of inflammatory bowel disease. To begin with, we'll query our service to find out what reasons for encounter are supported by the service. So we're going to our REST-based service, executing the query interface to bring us back RFEs. So we get a collection of RFEs, uh, reasons for encounter. So in this case, we get three reasons for encounter returned, representing our patient safety use cases. We have abdominal pain, dyspnea, and chest pain. Each ontology concept ID can be associated with a particular read code binding that best represents that particular concept. And any particular ontology concept ID can be associated with one or perhaps more than one code binding that represents that concept. In this case, dyspnea is represented potentially by three different recodes that are suitable for that concept. In addition, we have our own custom synonyms that we can define, which allow us to present textual representations of the data in a more easily accessible fashion in the decision support tool interface. So for example, we may have a synonym of SOB for shortness of breath presented in the decision support tool interface. We now wish to know what differentials to consider for a patient presenting with abdominal pain. So let's execute another REST-based query. And we now get back a collection of differentials to consider for abdominal pain. And again, we get the diagnosis represented by an ontology concept, along with a code binding that's associated with that particular concept. And in this case here, we have a particular ontology concept, Crohn's disease, which is represented by the read code inflammatory bowel disease, which will appear in the decision support tool. So we now investigate a particular diagnosis, and let's look at the cues supporting inflammatory bowel disease. So now we're looking at the cues relating to the ontology concept, Crohn's disease. So we get back a cue collection in this case with all of the significant cues that indicate this particular diagnosis. Again, we have an ontology concept ID that represents each cue with associated code bindings that may represent that particular cue. The queries so far have been top-down queries from a reason for encounter to a diagnosis to cues. In our decision support tool interface, we also wish to be able to work from individual cues upwards to a particular diagnosis. For example, a patient may present with a read code for flatulence, and we wish to know which diagnosis may be considered. So again, we can run a REST-based query for this. So we're looking at the differentials associated with the cue of flatulence. And in this case, we get a list of differential diagnoses to consider one of which is inflammatory bowel disease or Crohn's disease. So the decision support tool gathers evidence for each patient case, which is represented as a patient evidence set. In particular, the tool gathers the reasons for encounter associated with the patient, demographics related to the patient in terms of their sex and age, and also then the cues that are elicited during the consultation and gathered through the decision support tool. This is presented as an XML file to the clinical evidence client, which runs the appropriate backend queries to retrieve the evidence based on the cues presenting. This also initiates a ranking algorithm that checks to see which cues are correct with respect to which diagnoses. We can't actually execute the ranking alg algorithm because it's part of a DLL, but what we can do is to look at a output from the process to see what's happening. So as the patient evidence set is presented to the evidence service, we initially get back the initial ordering for abdominal pain for which diagnoses to consider, and the algorithm uh, keeps a cue count indicating the number of cues that are present from the patient in each diagnosis and ranks the diagnosis to consider based on this. So this is the initial presenting ranking with no cues elicited from the consultation. As each cue is added through the decision support tool, a running total of the cues supporting that particular diagnosis are maintained and the ranking changes the ordering of the cues for presentation to the decision support tool. 
This concludes our quick demonstration of some of the technical aspects of the clinical evidence service. Thank you for your interest and your attention.